this session, we're going to start our new mix series on learning how to mix uh, electronic music. And the first thing I do with this, you know, when I'm doing something like this, because we're going to do a, a convert this Reason song file into the mixer. The first thing I do is save the file to a new name. And uh, then from there, I go and I make an, uh, I bounce down the track with the way the original mix was, right, you know, so it's right here. And I can have that as a reference as, you know, once I have everything moved up into the VSSL mixer, uh, I have it as a reference and I also have it to compare later on when I'm done with my, my mixing and my mastering. And to save that, you know, you just, you go up here and you bounce the mixer channels. And uh, I, I, I just bounced the, all, everything between the, the start and the end markers and I put it to a new track and that's it. And so now I have a new song, Reason song file that's separate from the original one that the, the musician uh, sent in. So none of the original work will ever be lost. And I, I can always go back to it and refer to it. So now if we look at this Reason Song file, it's got quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of uh, instruments in it, but it also has quite a bit of side chaining that is all being fed by the, uh, the kick here. And this is something we have to retain and one you know reason comes with a a way to like if we select all these devices here we can right click and auto route and that's a great feature but when you have a lot of spider audio interfaces what will happen is that feature will lose some of the connections and it can be a hell of it can be really a hell of a time trying to figure out what was connected up you know, so the way you can go about this very easily is this. It's it's pretty simple. I'm gonna I'm gonna turn around the rack. I'm gonna go to uh, utilities and I'm gonna grab a mixer channel. I'm just gonna bring it up over here. And I know you know that these compressors are being used for side chaining off the the kick and the spider audio devices are you know routing the four to a bunch of different uh, devices so if we grab this this compressor right here and drag it over it takes with it the instrument that's connected to it so you don't have to you know follow the wires around and everything just take the one the the actual compressor that now see it, this compressor is hooked up to the mixer it's hooked up to the instrument and it's hooked up to spider audio you know because the spider audio devices are here you cannot do the easy way of you know auto routing everything and it it makes kind of a pain in the butt but you're gonna have to do this to you know each one of the things that's hooked up to the spider audio so that you don't lose your connections so with this you know this this would be the instrument so I'll just double click that and you want to do this so you get your naming convention correctly uh, it's this channel right here and I'll just paste it in there and then uh, now I can go in the back here and I'll put the device in there so it's in there and this goes in the mixer. We'll just get rid of that, put it up right here, and now we've got that instrument in the mixer, that the VSL SSL mixer. And what I'm going to do is just go through each one of these compressors until I have everything that's basically hooked up to the Spider Audio devices up on their own tracks, and then. From there, we will, pro we, will, we will most likely be able to then use the auto route devices. So I'm not going to do all that on the video, but that, that's a, what I just showed you is, is as easy as that. We'll do one more. So 
you just take a, a mixer channel, you bring it over, then I go over to like the compressor because I don't know what devices this is hooked up to. But so now look what we have. We have uh, that compressor is hooked up to this this uh, combinator. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag that in, put it in there. I'm going to put the the phaser in there, and see you can see what's going right to the mixer. That's what we want to go up to the input channel right here. So now we've that's that's in there nice and good and you can see we've got it going down to one of the spider audio. We don't have to mess with the spider audios. We just take these and put them up onto a track and whether it's a combinator or just a bunch of devices if it's if it's just devices you com you put it into the actual mix track. You combine it in there. If it's a combinator, you have to you know, go out of the combinator into the mix channel. Pretty easy, but it's kind of time consuming on some of these old these old song files if they have lots of spider audio devices. That that really prevents us from using the easy method of uh, that we'd like to use. Another thing we have to do is uh, just take our sends, bring them over here. That puts them up into the the VSSL. Just, uh, he doesn't have a lot of sends here, so we'll just take them and put them in there, up there. There's one here. And, you know, one, there, there's a lot of effects that are going on. There's a, a lot of effects he's using in the song that, like, are in the actual uh, tra uh, combinators or whatever. So what we're going to do is use the the inserts in the, the the VSL to be able to control some of that stuff. But I'll, I'll do that in the next video as we move along with this. But so far, I mean, this is what we have to do to 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 put this up into the the actual mix channel. And uh, if we look here, we can start seeing what we're getting. We got strings there. Here's our original mix. Eventually, we'll get rid of the master mix because when you, you know, imp open up uh, open up a Reason song file in Reason Nine, it's just going to be take everything and put it up into one mixer channel. So this is a short video to get everything started, and uh, we're going to be going through this meticulously to move everything up into the the VSSL mixer so that we can really start to to mix this song and control all the elements and and really help them stand out the best they can be in this mix. In part two, what we'll do is, is finish up moving this all up into the VSSL mixer and you know setting up the, the inserts and the sends right in the mixer. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next uh, session. And remember, the only way you can help me out is to like, subscribe, follow, and uh, that really helps me out. So you guys take care. Thank you.